All right, so I'm very happy to announce that hay season is upon us. Today is May 15th, and Lord willing, we will be putting down our first hay of the year. Uh, so I got a call from the folks who own that property, um, or text, whatever it was, probably the better part of a week ago, and they're like, hey, you know, this stuff's pretty much ready to roll. This field, um, there's two parts to this property. There's an upper part, which is what we filmed. It's super thick, it's super lush, it's super nice. Then there's a lower part, which was full of junk trees and mixed grass and a lot of weeds. And uh, my plan was to ignore the front part of this and then come in and do tillage work. That's actually part of the reason I just got through putting the hydraulic, the new hydraulic cylinder on that disc harrow over there. Uh, come through with that and do tillage work on the bottom side and plant uh, my next crop in there more on that later And then when that was up, I would do both of these But uh, what's actually happened is the front part is a lot better and a lot higher quality and a lot thicker than I was expecting So that's a major blessing and even the lower part It's still gonna be a good bulk of cheap material and we're coming out of the major hay shortage from 2018 So it's still gonna be really valuable. I can't pass it up. So we're gonna go out there and mow this I want to get this property done uh, today, so because today's Wednesday, it's supposed to rain on Saturday, so I need it bailed and done by Saturday, and um, so yeah, this is really exciting because it's happening. I mean, it's time to start putting down grass. My oats, uh, probably another month or two for those fields, but all the other lease ground I have, including one more farm I just picked up this afternoon it's currently after two o'clock because i've been out uh walking in fields with that family um it's it's ready to cut so yeah it's uh it's happening so we gotta fire up this tractor this has not been run since we spread oats with it so i hope that this thing will fire right up i love this thing Got oil pressure, it's charging. Perfect. Now the real test is can I squeeze out between this trailer and that mower? I think if we clip the uh, the tongue on that brush mower, come on brakes, work with me. I think if we clip the tongue on that brush mower, it's just gonna spin it, it's not gonna hurt anything. But uh, still. Got us this extra eight inches. All right, we're out. Let's drop this spreader, grab the mower, and hit the road. All right, now anybody in any farming enterprise can tell you that they all have that one job that they just can't stand. And with me, that's hitching and unhitching things. In fact, I hate it so much, I've bought different tractors so that during hay season, for instance, I can keep one on the mower, one on the rake, and one on the baler. Hopefully I won't have to switch anything. I'll have to hook and unhook the baler because that's also my loader tractor and I'll need it for loading hay. But still, this is much better than last year where every single day I had to switch equipment and it cost at a minimum, I would say an hour a day. It's a complete pain. This mower is the most difficult thing that I have to hook up because the proportions on it are kind of weird. It's very awkward. Just everything about it is miserable. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to leave it on this tractor indefinitely 
until I sell one or the other or upgrade to a bigger mower, which I'd also like to do at some point, especially because I'm pretty sure we're over 100 acres for this year. Uh, I have to go back and add everything up, but if not, with today's edition, we gotta be like right there. So really, really happy about that. Um, one thing I'm not so happy about is for some reason the hydraulic valves in this tractor won't hold the cylinder closed that tilts this up. I can tilt it up, but I can't leave it tilted. So, you know, that's kind of frustrating, but that's just the way it goes, I guess. So uh, uh, what I'm gonna do about that is set it up to run off of that valve block there, but obviously that's a project for another day. In the meantime, we gotta hit the road because it's, uh, oh, that one only took like 30, 40 minutes to hook up. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens. This is, I believe, my fifth year here in Texas. And I gotta tell you guys, I'm still not used to the sheer volume of water that this place receives. I grew up in the Midwest where I think we get like 30, 40 inches of rain per year. Sometimes here we push twice that. I used to not like it, but I figured out if you just plan to plant everything that loves an insane amount of water, it works out really well.